we are asked to find the product of the three fractions. We multiply three fractions, just like we multiply two fractions. To multiply, we multiply the numerators and we multiply the denominators. But of course, we have to make sure that the product is in simplified form by simplifying out all the common factors between the numerator and denominator. In this video, we will look at two common methods for simplifying before we actually determine the product. So to multiply the two fractions, again, we multiply the numerators and we multiply the denominators which means the numerator is 12 times two times six. The denominator is 20 times nine times 14. It'll be easier to simplify before determining these products. One method for doing this is to look at the prime factorization of each of these factors. This will allow us to see the common factors between the numerator and denominator. So let's use this method. The prime factorization of 12 is two times two times three. Two is prime. The prime factorization of six is two times three. The prime factorization of 20 is two times two times five. The prime factorization of nine is three times three. And the prime factorization of 14 is two times seven. And because a fraction bar represents division, two divided by two simplifies the one here as well as here and here. 3 divided by 3 simplifies the one here as well as here. Now we can see there are no other common factors other than one between the numerator and denominator, and therefore we can now multiply knowing the product will be in simplified form. In the numerator we have one factor of two. In the denominator we have five times seven, which is 35. The simplified product is two thirty-fifths. Well, let's also show another method for simplifying before multiplying. Once again, the numerator is 12 times two times six, and the denominator is 20 times nine times 14. Without determining the prime factorization, notice that 12 and 20 share a common factor of four. There are three fours in 12 and five fours in 20. By simplifying this way, we just simplified out a common factor of four between the numerator and denominator. Next, notice that six and nine share a common factor of three. There are two threes in six and three threes in nine. We just simplified out one common factor of three between the numerator and denominator. And notice two and 14 share a common factor of two. There's one, two, and two, and seven twos and 14. We just simplified out one common factor of two between the numerator and denominator. And then finally, notice there's a common factor of three here. There's one three and three here, and one three and three here. We just simplified out another common factor of three between the numerator and denominator. There are no other common factors other than one between the numerator and denominator, and therefore we can now multiply knowing the product will be simplified. In the numerator, we have one times one times two, which is two. In the denominator, we have five times one times seven, which is 35. So each method of simplifying has its advantages. Using the prime factors, we can actually see the common factors between the numerator and denominator. Using the second method is faster, but it can be more challenging to make sure we identify all the common factors between the numerator and denominator. I hope you found this helpful.